Hello, you're back with Dave and Tim with a single malt review as we prepare ourselves to experience more rum, thanks to the Plantation Rum Experience. Yes, indeed. Rum time mm. eternal. It carries on. And it's time for rum number two. Mm. Rum number two is... Get rid of that lid. The Original Dark Ooh, from yeah. Plantation. So this is, I guess, as close as to your... You know, bog standard house style rum, mm. as we're going to get out of this, and most indicative of, I suppose, their um, their style. Mm. So um, ordinary though it may be compared to some of the others, uh, one we should pay attention yeah. to. So we have a Barbadian dark rum, sourced in Barbados, where it's matured in bourbon casks, then it ships to France to finish maturing at plantations facilities in French oak, mm. where it is um, firmly locked inside this plastic. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's yeah. the strength on this one? This one is 40. We've got a curious mm. mix of strengths here, ranging from 43 to 40, um, and just about everything in between, for some reason. But, yeah, this one, just a 40, nothing fancy. Mm. So, it's certainly dark. Um, makes no allusions to whether it's coloured or mm. not. Nice white back cork. Ah, it's certainly it's safely resealed. Mm. And, you know... It does have kind of a... I've, I've had a few plantations now, and there's kind of a plantation style going mm. on there. This one is at 40%. It doesn't really have a lot of punch to it, but it's got plenty of fruity zing mm. along with all of that um, mountain of sugarcane that you get with, with every with any, any gold rum or dark Warming, rum. sweet, and quite spicy. But, mm, yeah, a bit of fruit there too. Price, and it's got a good banana mm. on there as well. Which is something I find as rums age, the banana escalates. I think uh, the oldest, some of the oldest rum I've ever tried that had a genuine age, not just a Solera you know, suggestion you know, age in quotations, was um, many, 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 many years ago I tried Appleton Estate, 21 years old, which is still available but astronomically expensive these days, so don't hold your breath um, for it appearing anytime soon, but well, you know. Don't count it out either. That one, the banana was real. So um, I've always thought of that as kind of the, um, the 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 flag of how how mature a rum is, how big the bananas are. <laughs> um, maybe not the most scientific way of gauging a rum's age, but um, it's um, it's worked for me. And the bananas here, non-trivial. So maybe this does have a little bit of maturity going on, despite its sort of otherwise ordinary presentation. Well, I've just tried it at its full strength, and that is a flavoured journey. I held it there in my mouth for a while, and it evolved. There's first a bit of heat, which is surprising, considering the restrained 40% ABV. Ah, then there's sugar cane, then there are fruits, and it goes into some pastries and cooked fruit. It is a real flavour journey. That's pretty fruity, yeah, that's very juicy, actually. Mm. Um, ah, that's a mm, bit of hint of black tea. Interesting. Just a little bit of a little bit of tannic uh, property coming through, maybe from those French oak. I think yeah, any any sort of black tea, those darker tannins will definitely be from the um, the French leg of its maturation mm. rather than the bourbon. But that fruit is presumably from the spirit, and that was presumably there from birth, and it's really pretty that's pretty engagingly fruity. This is mm. not the this is not the first rum this year which has kind of turned up and been fruitier than I was expecting mm. rums to be. They really, you think of rum as they really are just that sugarcane kind of a thing. And for many rums that is where the experience begins and ends. But the capacity for good, you know, well-produced, interesting rums to have this incredible diversity of really, really real tropical fruit flavours, um, still surprising. And, yeah, we're, we're no strangers mm. to rum on the channel. Uh, there's, there's an extra flavour here, something I'm trying to pin down. It's something that's kind of hot, sort of cooked, a little bit... It's a hint of danger, maybe, like maybe like a touch of hot sauce or a zingy barbecue sauce or something. I can't quite danger. pin it down. Just that it feels like a little bit, a little bit daring, a bit zesty, mm. outside of the rum norms. It's right mm. here on the edge of the palate. I can't quite place it. I'm not sure about any mm. dangerous flavours no. in here. They're a little bit, little bit flame-kissed. Mm. Not sure what though. I can't quite place it, so it's not the most mm -hmm. useful uh, mm -hmm. tasting note too. As I as I, as I scan it further, I'm just mm. getting more sort of esoteric spices. There's some black pepper and even some uh, mace in here as mm. well, and not an insignificant nutmeg. Um, mm. 
I don't know. Was that a, um, a heap spoon of nutmeg? Is that the danger? <laughs> oh, get um, up to a, to a dangerous dose. Hmm. No, probably not. Um, no, I'm not, not quite sure. Hmm. What yeah, a, I'm not sure what it was either. Like, element could be, hmm. but what this is, I think, is though entry level, though it may be, and I haven't looked up the individual prices on full bottles of these, but this one will be, if not the cheapest, then very, very close to it. And considering what we pay for plantation rums down mm -hmm. here, it'll be really, you know, it'll be on par with just about some of the cheapest rum you can otherwise pick up um, that is not some sort of underproof swill, you know, bottled at 37% spiced rum just to be donked into coke mixes and um, forgotten about. For, you know, craft rum, this is just about the cheapest you can get, and I think I wouldn't be disappointed um, with this one at all. In fact, it's almost, I expected less complexity than I'm getting, which is why I'm sort of dragging ass on my score here, but <laughs> um, we'll call this one slightly lower resolution, but I really do kind of like this quite a lot. I might be coming very, very close to the um, the white rum, actually. The white mm. rum was definitely more abnormal. The white rum mm. had a had more um, dynamic more and unique, more strange yeah. character to it. This is certainly more conventional, but it's doing everything right. Mm. I think this might be just a carbon copy 88 from there. Oh, okay. I'm going slightly lower. This is a very tasty and satisfying dark rum. It's not super standout in any particular way, but it is complex, it's layered, it's rich. Uh, happy to give it 86 points. Yeah, I think if there's one, if there's a major knock on this one, is that it will probably perform better at 43. Hmm. But you can say that to just about anything yeah. bottled at 40% or under, so maybe that's a... Hmm. Um, Maybe that's a pointless argument to make against <laughs> it, but yeah, I think this would, a little bit of force would be the one thing that would help this, because I think it's got all of the flavours and complexity that it needs, it maybe just needs to turn up the volume mm. a little bit to really, really come across. But, um, for such an available one as this, you can make up your own opinion, and should, and let mm. us know in the comments if you feel um, so um, so inclined to do so, because uh, we, we do like to hear the opinion of our fellow drinkers. So with that one, Slunger, we will be back around as rum time continues forever. <laughs>